Hello, I'm Daniel McCarthy and for the past 10 months I've been developing my own scripting language, primarily designed for web development. Let me show you the, sc the scripting language so far. So here is Marble Code. So what this does is connects to a database and selects from the mail list and shows us the results. So you can see it looks a lot like Java. The language is designed to be a mix between Java, PHP and C++ with the good points taken from each of those languages. Uh, so we can see it works fine. I can filter by email here and it gives me the emails and whether they're active. Now the primary reason I've created Marble is to fill a hole that hasn't been filled yet. PHP, the scripting language called PHP, has one massive flaw and that is it treats the system as one entity which is very dangerous. For example, for people who have heard of WordPress, if you install any plugin, it can do anything that the WordPress system can do. Now this is clearly da dangerous because you don't want to install a plugin and have it erase your database. And I've kind of gone down a sort of mobile app approach. I've done a similar thing to, to, to mobile apps. You know when you install a mobile app and it asks you it, it tells you this application will access your camera, will access this, will access that. Well, Marble has all that built into, into its core. And people can even make permissions. So if you were creating, let's say, your own WordPress, but you wrote it in Marble, you could restrict plugins so that they would need permissions such as can post, can delete post, can comment and then the plugin will only be able to do those things if it has that permission. So because I've been working on this language so long I've got a lot of the core implemented already. So I can show you the permission system. If we go here and we go print hello world and we refresh the page you'll see it outputs hello world. Now let's say you wanted to make it so that couldn't happen. So imagine we load a plugin, okay? So we go something like include plugin name dot marble, something like that, right? Imagine we include a plugin. If I want it so that plugin can't output directly to the to, to the to the client, I can just do this: permissions permissions equals new permissions, and that creates a blank permissions object. So obviously, if we add permissions to this permissions object then it'll work fine. Uh, you know, if we if we give it the permission to do so, it'll work fine. Now if I go permission, permissions, and I just put it in this scope, so we've, ba we're basically saying this scope has no permissions. That's basically what we're saying. Anything we add to this permissions object, this scope will inherit. But you can't just add anything to this object you have to, your scope also has to hold that permission. So it's kind of like a hierarchy. So you can limit permissions, but you can never gain them. Okay, so if we refresh that now, you'll see system through a permission exception on line eight. So it's actually denied, denied this, uh, this, this event. And this is why Marble is going to be so powerful, because Anything you do on the internet needs to be safe. If you run a blog, you cannot have one plugin destroying all of your work. And Marble will prevent this. You can see how much work has been done already. All of these are files in the Marble project. 10 months of work is huge. But there's still a lot to go and I need your help. I need to create a lot of libraries. At the moment, the language as a whole is almost complete, but it doesn't have many libraries. Currently, we can write files and we can access MySQL databases, but there's still a lot to do, and I need your help. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.